Hey, hey, happy Wednesday, Robin Beasley here. So about to hit the sack here for the night of day two of our family commitment to the 30 days to healthier living. So I'm gonna preface by saying that my husband and I have done this program before and our son Braxton a couple years, probably 18 months ago, we took him off of um, a lot of the same uh, food groups that we do in our 30 day program um, to try to identify some potential allergens that were um, kind of flaring up his eczema at the time. So long story short, this is our second son, Graydon, who just turned seven's first time. The other three of us have done this before. The most apprehensive one would be the last one, the, the one, our youngest son that has just, this is his first time doing it. But I want to say we are all thriving. We are all feeling wonderful. Um, this program is not meant to just like lose a bunch of weight. It's a lifestyle change. It is an opportunity for you to identify potentially any allergens, but really give your body a reset. And um, it's something that, again, we have really, really benefited from. So want to share that um, day one was yesterday. And so we flew home from Canada on, on Monday and we were all craving Mexican food hardcore. So we decided, <clears throat> despite that we had made our little our, um, commitment video, a decision that we were going to start on Monday, we decided to start Tuesday so that we could have our last supper, last lunch. <laughs> so we went for Mexican food and then I'll be honest, we actually went and had barbecue with my um, in-laws um, when we got home Monday night. So <clears throat> yesterday was day two, was our first day. Um, our, it was really like our first full day being back in Texas. And so one of the first things we need to do was make school lunches. I'll just be honest, I strongly dislike baking school lunches to begin with. So making it so that it is 30 day friendly, pretty challenging, but we got through it. We had a little bit of leftover barbecue from the night before. One ch um, son had chose brisket. The other one had chose some turkey breast, um, smoked turkey breast, and both of them were fantastic. So we used those leftovers. One wanted carrot sticks, sticks. The other one was actually preferred cooked carrots because he has a couple loose teeth that kind of bother him. So long story short, we did that. We did grapes. We did applesauce in our lunch as well, our snacks, as well as almonds. We made it through day one. Now, ironically, both of my children are under the weather today and both of them have been home all day. Um, I should say that yesterday morning we had, one of them had scrambled eggs for breakfast. The other one had um, an Arbonne protein shake. Um, so the kids are really probably eating more healthier foods at this time. They both eat shakes but are not replacing two meals with Arbonne shakes at this time. They're each eating or having one shake a day, not two. John and I are doing the meal replacement, like our shakes, as well as um, yesterday we had, I had chicken um, for lunch, chicken and broccoli, a, a protein shake, and then um, a protein shake again for supper last night. Um, my husband was traveling yesterday. I believe he caught, he, he got some brisket yesterday at lunch and then had shakes. So today is day two. Again, we've all, the boys and I have been home today. John just got home just after lunch. Um, we had chicken and broccoli for lunch um, and some delicious healthy snacks, some, um, Actually, John cooked some pecans and almonds in the oven, just kind of roasted them, warmed them up, and they tasted great. Um, the boys, day two. So yesterday we went to the grocery store because we hadn't been at the grocery store since we've been home. And we still choose to eat some red meat in our 30-day program because... I'm a cattle kid. I was raised on a cattle ranch and we happen to love um, a lot of red meat. Um, so we try to get some lean meats. Um, and so just like not the, the goal of this program for our family, for especially for the boys in this instance, is to be healthier, stronger, um, working on health challenges as far as like push-ups and sit-ups. And um, both of them, I saw their cousins were playing some hockey while we were in Canada and one of them had some abs. I'm not saying that my eight, almost nine-year-old and seven-year-old son need to have abs. I'm just saying I want them to be confident and healthy. I want them to realize that um, they have a decision about what they put in their mouth and what they what 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 foods they feed their body with because what we feed our body really influences how we think and how much energy we have and so we are making it. Today is day two. Um, I just ran to the store with my son to get a couple more um, things for lunches tomorrow. Um, we got strawberries, um, which have been really kind of out of season here and um, expensive, but just really like out of season, to be honest. Um, so we got some strawberries. I also got some frozen strawberries to put in some shakes. Um, apples. Um, apples are really like low in sugar and um, we really like apples. And applesauce, like natural 100% um, apples, we've really found to have been really beneficial. So we have made it 
through day two. We are all fixing to go to bed. We have been, um, I've been filling up our water bottles. Um, the kids love fizz sticks. We drink a lot, a lot of fizz sticks in our house. And so I made fizz sticks for both of my children um, in a big bottle today so that they could drink enough water throughout the day, especially being home today um, and a little under the weather, just having those extra, uh, you know, the chromium and everything else that's in them. So, hey, honey, this is our dog. Can you say hello? She's like, I've never seen myself before. <laughs> Anyhow, um, happy happy Wednesday. And um, I hope that you follow along. But most importantly, I hope that we challenge and empower you to commit to your health in 2020, any time of the year, whenever you um, take on, you know, take this video in. Um, send me a message. I'd love to send you some samples. I'd love for you just to experience the products. All of our products have that 30 day money back guarantee, uh, 45 day, sorry. Um, but most importantly, just, just consume the products and enjoy them because I promise you, uh, they have benefited my life in huge, huge ways. So happy, happy sleep <laughs> and sleep y'all. When you are getting healthier, when you are losing any inches in weight, you realize that we breathe out that. So sleeping is so imperative. I'm not going to go through the whole science thing, but, um, when you think about how you lose weight and how you get rid of like calories from your body, you breathe it out. I don't know if you're aware of that. I'm just going to tell you that that is, we actually have to breathe out, um, the cells that we're trying to get rid of our body. Totally different science conversation. My husband is a science guy. I'm a numbers girl. Let's get it for the best price that we can. All right, I'm out. We've made it through day two. Day one, day two, we're going into day three. Our son's birthday, Braxton turns nine, February 4th. And so, yeah, not sure what we're going to do there. He might probably splurge a little bit at that point. He asked me yesterday, he said, mom, can I just have a little bite of something that we're not allowed to have? And I said, that's called temptation. And as soon as we put one thing in our mouth, then we're going to want it again and again, and we're going to allow ourselves to. So let's put on the list of things we want to eat in 30 days time. And um, those are like our temptation list. Those are those like celebration list. And so um, we added what he was hoping for on that list. So it's about what you can eat, not what you can't eat. That's been a big, a big push in our house the last couple days here. It's about focusing on what we can. So, hey, make a list of the things you can enjoy um, on this 30-day program. See you later.